you know, I think that if you if you walk down the grocery store or drugstore and look at all the possibilities of um, sanitary products, um, it's come a long way, and yet it hasn't. Um, I think for active persons, tampons are a lot easier to use. Um, but I think getting comfortable with putting a tampon in and leaving it in and not forgetting about it is a little bit of a trick and, and something that we all have to kind of learn to, to do. Um, nowadays, there are slender tampons that are very absor absorbent, and I think those work really nicely for active persons who are going to be involved with swimming or soccer or tennis. Um, it, it just it makes it so much easier than the, the big pads that make you feel like you have on a diaper. Yeah, to go along with that, one of the questions is, can I swim when I'm on my period? And yeah, when, when you're on your period, you should definitely continue to be active. Um, but, but I think use the appropriate sanitary products. Become, become familiar with tampons and tampons that work for you. A few years ago, there were concerns about um, uh, toxic shock syndrome and tampons. And toxic shock syndrome is a, it's a very serious uh, condition where uh, bacteria can uh, release toxins in the body and cause a person to go into shock. But in all honesty, in 20 years of practice, I've not seen that from a person wearing tampons. And I think if we use good hygiene, we change tampons regularly at an interval of four to six hours, you're going to avoid problems from those.